Here is a good example on torque. It says, find the torque produced by a cyclist exerting a force of 115 Newton on pedal in the position shown in the figure if the shaft of the pedal is 16 centimeter long, right? So what we are given here is that R, which is this length from here to here, is 16 centimeter, right? 16 centimeter. First thing, convert to meters. 0 0.16 meter right you don't have to think at this stage and second thing is force and force is equals to 115 newton so that's the magnitude of force given to you and the direction is also given which is seems 15 degrees from north so from north it is 15 degrees now this pedal is at 25 degrees with the horizontal right now torque is cross product of R and F, right? That is torque and which really means magnitude of R times magnitude of F times sine of theta. Where theta is the angle between R and F. Now the real problem here is to find theta. What is the angle which this R makes with F? That is what the real problem is. Now to find that it is a good idea to draw a vector diagram for the same. Now see how to make a vector diagram. So what we will do is we can either shift this reference at this point and find the angle between R and F. We can do that. So if I shift that, just bring the whole structure here. Think like this. So if I bring the whole structure here, then I can kind of put it here and then that's the force, right? Or I can shift this structure to that point. So either way, we can get our diagram, correct? So what I will do for this particular case is I'll keep this here and move this up. So let me show you how. So I'm keeping this here. So I'm just keeping my, this is my line, which shows that. And with that line, I'm extending my, let's say we'll use this color now force right so I'm I'm extending this force downwards from this line from here it was coming like this right so let me let me just continue like this like this right so that is that is how I have extended so I, I'm at this point and I've shifted this force because the force this much downwards do you see that so that is here it's much longer than I should have drawn but just to give you an idea so that is that is the force part of it and now what i will do is i'll shift this 25 degrees r up here so we have kind of from here this is my horizontal right and from 20 r, r is this direction so that is my r right vector r so we don't go with magnitudes at present we're trying to figure out angle between r and f this is what we're trying to figure out correct now with this horizontal, we know this much is 25 degrees, correct? And this angle is the vertical, vertically opposite angle, right? 20, 15 here, so 15 here. So this angle is 15 degrees for us. Now as you can see, this is actually a right angle with horizontal and that, correct? So this is, let me use different, this is right angle, correct? Now in this right angle, what is that angle? That is 90 minus 15, correct? So, we have this angle as 90 minus 15, that is 75. 75 is this angle. Do you get the point? So, the angle between R and F, so this is our force, F, right? So, angle between R and, R and F is 25 plus 75. So, we get theta value from here, which is 100. So, theta for us is 25 degrees plus 75 degrees and that gives us a value of 100 degrees, okay? So we'll use this value. So we have R already converted into meters, most important, so which is 0 0.16 meters. And then we have force in newtons, 115 newtons. And now we know angle, so it is sine of 100 degrees. And now we can use our calculator and find the answer. So that's it. So in torque examples, spend time in making a vector diagram and then it's easy times 115 times sine of 100 
and what we get 18.12 so that is what we get 18.12 18.12 and the units will be newton meter right so that is how you can give the force so we can write down answer we can round it to one decimal place and say torque okay let me write torque is 18.1 newton I hope that's absolutely clear to you and with that I think you get good knowledge and information about torque. Thank you.